morning, day 18 I think, I think I'm totally out of my days but I'm pretty certain it is 18, is that right? Yeah, uh, we're at a place called Bay Bayonne, B-A-Y-O-N-N-E, I don't even know if I pronounced that right, I've just come down the other side over there, I'm kind of had to do a sort of a horseshoe shape to get across on the bridge back there. Uh, plenty of people out, lots more traffic. This is quite a big town. Uh, it's nice to be near the water. There's obviously movement there. Look, you can see it swirling. There's probably currents in there. Uh, it's not been particularly easy getting through here. Um, this is probably... Ooh, it's a dangerous thing to say, isn't it? Probably the worst cycle routing town I've come to in France. I don't know, it's because we're in, in transition where they're doing a lot of work, but uh, it, it's not very well signposted. All the markings for the uh, cycle, on the, the cycleway on the pavement, uh, or on the road in front of you, where they white it, you know, where it's got a picture of a man on a bike. They're all very faded. And a lot of the roads now look like they've become, mo you know, car roads rather than bike roads. It's almost as if they've given the priorities over to cars. I mean, even this path here, there's no markings on it. I've not seen any. I'm just going by a GPS now on the uh, Riber GPS app tells me to come along here and it makes sense because I'm coming along the other side of this estuary, river, whatever it is. Um, a lot of cyclists about. Not the women cyclists. I see more women cyclists, I think, in France than I've seen anywhere else in the UK. I could sit there and have my breakfast, couldn't I, with all this bloody noise, though. No, I think I'm going to push on and see if I can get away from this noise um, it's all very nice see that's the road there lovely put more pine trees up they've been shaped haven't they uh, oh now we've got some markings here what is it telling that you go straight on yes it is uh, looks like it's straight on doesn't it yeah good um, Got markings again. All apartment living, as you can see. Quite stylish. I wonder when they were built. Because I suppose here they're designed to keep the heat out, aren't they? You know, so the window space is less, or the windows are set in, which makes sense. It is warm. Uh, I know I've got about uh, eight days to go and I've probably got this stage around about 200 miles just under now. It sounds so easy. Oh dear, why do they do these bumps? Um, but believe me, we've got the Pyrenees now and I've got some major climbs. I, oh, I can't do this. this is, oh, I know how Lewis Hamilton feels now. I'm porpoising. Porpoising, that's what I'm doing. They could have learned, see if Mercedes had come to me, I could have told them about bloody porpoising. Oh, 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 oh there's another one there, and eh? we're porpoising. Yeah, you would get a bad back, because I've got a bloody bad back. Right, okay, sorry, off track. Pyrenees, yeah, two words, Pyrenees and weather. And by weather, I mean for the next two days, We've got 35 today, 35, 37 tomorrow, and I think 38 on Saturday or thereabouts. The one saving grace is that heat tends to come late afternoon. You know, the top temperatures tend to get around four o'clock. Oh, here, well, look, now we've got plenty of road markings now. But it's a new piece, you see, so maybe that's what they're in. They're in transition, so. Um, yeah, so that heat comes late in the day. And because I'm setting off, you know, 8 o'clock now, or before, I'm getting most of my miles in before 
before two really. Uh, so I think we're going to be okay. The problem is when I set up the tent it gets so bloody hot in that late afternoon you can't get in the tent but I can always sit outside. It's, there's normally a breeze. Nice campsite last night. It was okay. It was busy. So it got, it's getting busy now. Uh, a lot of surfers, were in, we were in surfing sort of area. Um, so they all, you know, gather as, as teenagers and groups. And, but it was well run camp, very clean, toilets were lovely. La, La Cisadel or something. I named it, I don't normally name them, do I? Uh, it was a good one. And it was only 11 euros. So, and they were very helpful. Gave me a quiet spot near the, near the sanitaire. Um, a few kids about, a few more kids now I'm seeing uh, at the campsites. I don't know whether it's because of certain holidays or just parents taking their kids out of school and paying a fine maybe, if it's the same as the UK. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not too fussed. It, it's not a problem. Oh no, this is where it looks a bit... Sending me down here. So. At least I'm off the road. Mm. That's you know, it's probably, that's more like a mural, isn't it? That's that's okay. That's it. That's all right. It's when it gets all those bloody tags over it and spoils it. You see, like there, it's a bit. They'd be better off employing. No, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Youth. That's what the answer is, youth. Quite a lot of graffiti in France, actually. I've seen more here than I do normally in some of the places I am in the UK, although I am near Bristol and I think Bristol must be the worst bloody place on earth for graffiti, it's everywhere. To the detriment, I think, of the, of the city. Um, no, don't get into politics. Right, okay. Yeah, this is alright. Look, we've got those little things in the middle there that tell me I'm in the right lane. But as you can see, this is quite a big city we're in here. So, you know, the landscape's changed a bit. I came through an industrial estate earlier. I keep finding little spots. I think, oh, I could stop there and have, have my breakfast, but it's 10 o'clock. Um, oh, that smells. Oh, that's the sewage works. Oh, God. Um, bonjour. Oh, bonjour. But then I think now I'll find somewhere better later on, then I'll end up in an area like this. So, um, Parthenocysis, isn't it? Yeah, Quinguifolia. On the wall there, keep going. Bonjour. We're getting plenty of road markings now. Yeah, I've got the fumes in my throat now. That's going to be interesting, isn't it, when we get more and more electric cars? Because there will, theoretically, be far less pollution around the roads. And they need, I'm talking UK now, like in London, I know it's quite bad. And uh, the old particulate levels are really high because of the traffic. Well, as more and more cars become electric, and they will, that's going to fall away rapidly, isn't it? Those numbers. Very fit. This is a fishy town, by the way, because I keep smelling fish and I keep seeing fish stalls. But you can see now it's kind of busy. Lots of scooters, loud motorbikes. See those everywhere. I'm not stopping to get a drink. I've stopped at a uh, Boulangerie and got some. Uh, got a nice roll and a. Danish pastry, I suppose we should call it a French pastry, but they didn't sell drink. It's just nice to have a Coke or something or a Pepsi. 
bonjour because it's nice to get the sugar this is a butcher I think yes it is I need the sugar for energy and I'm it's not as if I'm not using it I'm getting through the calories here you know putting in these 30 40 50 mile days so it looks like I'll be camping just this side of the Spanish border tonight and I'm going um, to cross the border on Friday into Spain now I know I said earlier I've got eight days left but the whole point of me tearing through um, Bordeaux the wine region uh, and putting in those big days was to gain days I need to gain time because I know what, what's ahead with these climbs and I don't mind having a day off in Spain and the accommodation's cheaper as well so it made sense to um, do that I'm going through Bilbao so I don't know what's in Bilbao but I might decide to have two nights there and uh, have a day in Bilbao just walking around and doing nothing special I'll see how I feel because I think by Bilbao one of the big climbs I've got to do I've done or, or it's in, in that area and I think that would be nice I know there's two so it would be nice to get one out of the way and that will give me the experience for the third one for the sec second one but those are the big climbs of course there's lots of little ones in between okay that's the update for today day 18 I'm almost certain now it's day 18 uh, June the 16th happy days Right, we're entering uh, Bay Ritz, I think now, this area. Let's see over there. Oh. No dedicated cycle lane, but I mean, it's pretty clear, isn't it? This is really meant for cyclists. No, no picture of a car anywhere. Uh, look at this, look. I wish I had more time. Oh, that's nice. Look, look at this. Wow. The quality for you. Merci. Bonjour. And over there. Uh, uh, the apartments of the rich and famous. That's one dwelling, isn't it? Ooh. We've even got coloured road markings now. Right, let's get into a proper gear. Sorry, switching hands a bit. Uh, uh, I've got to be a little bit careful here because I'm, I'm flying blind here. Uh, I'm going to have to go by road signs and what GPS is telling me that looks like it's straight on pretty straight forward is that a red light? I don't know, it could have been I don't know what it is, oh look, yeah, yeah well how the other half looks like a church house in there it, that's uh, can you hear me? Ely Agnes in Bingiai that, that power green, there's hedges of that everywhere, there's more over there, Ely Agnes. Um, I'm going straight down, I think. Uh, uh, this is where it gets tricky when cars want to overtake. And uh, I don't know how much of this you're going to get, I might have to turn the GoPro off concentrate on uh, staying alive John Travolta Bee Gees oh downhill that's nice it's about 30 degrees now I would think and it's 11 11 o'clock 
maybe a bit more in the sun. Um, it's going to be a hot one today. I'm probably repeating myself, I've probably already said this. There was more shots of the sea there and I missed it. There you go. More shots of the sea. Because the cars get pissed off because I'm taking photographs and filming and instead of driving and riding and just holding them up. You know, how the hell do you do that? And why why should you be allowed to do that? How much does it cost you a year to stay on the road? Yeah. All the usual. I just smile and, as my old friend used to say, do a cherry and walk out, you know. I suspect I'm going to have some climbs coming out of town. Because I've got some declines going in. Well, you're getting a good idea of what this is like. I'm working on one brake here. I've got cars queued up behind me. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here. Don't want to upset anybody. As soon as I can, I'm going to pull in and turn the GoPro off. <laughs> but at the moment, that's uh, not possible. Never mind. Oh my goodness, it goes on and on. I'm going to pay for this later. I know that. Plus, I don't like working on one brake either. Because if that fails, I'm buggered. Well, so I'm going to have to get slow right down now. So that I can control. Oh, that looks a bit posh, doesn't it? Oh my goodness me. Oh, where's it telling me to go? Is that a sign? Saying carry on, isn't it? Is it up there? Let's, 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 let's get out of everybody's way. There. I'll give myself a bit of time. Right, wow, look at that, it's beautiful. No, there. Right, that's all you're going to get because um, I need to constipate on what I'm doing. Not much to do with tracking, but. Uh, It's hot. It's damn hot. Go get a shot of that. I don't know whether we can get over there. this and we're going in, in the tunnel well we are we are cyclists only Precious moments. Oh, even more precious moments. Oh, even more precious moments. And this is an aquarium which we're not going to go in. Washy apartment block. Oh, I don't know where I got that. Right, concentrate on what you're doing.